It's the most successful anime podcast of all time being replaced by AI. Are we all doomed to get influenced by AI entertainment strictly fed to us and personalized based on our Amazon cookies? Is it in fact true that Makoto Shinkai is in reality a isekai form of Megatron? We will discover that all in today's episode of Weeb News, the most important news show on the internet revolving all around weeb culture. So if you've been anywhere near the internet in the past few months, then you've probably seen the insane rise of AI content or even better, AI memes. For example, you can clone the voice of the former presidents of the US to talk about the funniest shit, for example their favorite VTubers, or even better, how to build a Minecraft house. But there is one mad lad out of there that took things further. He made an entire AI president podcast in a trash taste style. And what I mean by that is not just a funny 3 minute clip, no, I mean a full 40 minute script pure of Obama's, Trump's and Biden's insane anime takes. And honestly? The guy who made this has superb anime taste. He even mentioned some of the rather underground mangas. It's insanely funny and I would give it a watch if I were you. That and the fact that now I can claim that the ending of Bunny Drop is a true problem that is officially recognized by the US government and that kind of makes me happy. This all poses an interesting question though. Will this AI replace our entertainment one day? Well maybe. But that's just sci-fi stuff, right? It's not like there's a fully autonomous AI generated anime girl with a cute voice that consists out of thousands of other AI programs developed to simulate human emotions or anything. Wait. Nurosama is a AI developed by a turtle VTuber. You heard it right, Leonardo from the Ninja Turtles. And she went viral because she's insane at awesome in Minecraft and also the fact that she doesn't consist out of flesh. And surprisingly enough, she kinda integrates nicely into the VTuber industry to the point where last week she even collided with Kiara of Hololife EN. It's kinda nuts to see an AI integrate into a creator space so well and it was insanely fun seeing Kiara getting absolutely roasted by a literal heartless machine and everybody being on the side of the machine. But yeah, at the moment Nirosama and AI in the entertainment industry are just being used for shits and giggles and honestly, I hope it stays away. I don't want to see a future where we will get corporate weaponized AI VTubers or something like that, so please don't do that. Moving on to anime news, finally Yoshinoko started airing and just like my predictions it broke the internet. Honestly, at this point I should just make a living out of predicting potential anime adaptations that will break the internet because honestly I, I feel like that's my career path, you know? Especially for the next video I guess. It's just rewarding seeing people bawling their eyes out after just one episode and also to pat my past self manga reader on the back and tell him he wasn't the only one that shattered a tier 5 minutes into the manga, or I guess it's technically the anime now. If anything, it makes me proud to have been a literal religious preacher for Aka Akasaka's new magnum opus for about a year now, and I can't wait to see the reaction of the anime community for the rest of the show. Also, can we have a second to appreciate Aka Akasaka's name? If that's not a name for a creative genius, then what is? His full name can be spelled with literally only 3 letters. Okay, back to the topic now. To finish this theme of Oshinoko, I just want to say that I'm really glad everybody is enjoying Oshinoko. Shinoko. And also for the VTuber fans, don't worry, this is also a great opportunity for you because the VTuber fan arts will be amazing off the show, I'll tell you. Now for a last new segment, if you can even call it that, I have some exciting manga announcement. And it's the fact that Shonen Jump will launch 4 brand new Shonen titles this month. And if you are into sports or just really hungry, I have some great news for you. Since the creator of Korokon on Basket and the creator of Food Wars will both launch their new manga projects and therefore occupy 2 of those 4 new manga slots. And whilst there is little to no information about those two mangas as of the recording of this video, the new mangas that we will be getting from the new Food Wars manga class, Shunsei, Ki and Yo Tsukasa, seems to be about a guy who is really into movies. And I don't know why, but movie paired with mangaka always reminds me of Fujimoto. So if there is any correlation with mangaka hobbies and the quality of their work, we could see another masterpiece. Just saying. And with that we can end this little new segment that I might continue in the future if there is anything interesting I want to talk about. Let me know in the comments if you enjoyed it and if you would prefer if I cover one big topic per video or multiple smaller ones like this one. Thanks for watching and goodbye.